then as a jockey? I've uh, won about close to 1100 races and I've about 45 graded races, uh, including few derbies. And uh, my biggest win so far is the Invitation Cup on Beckett. What was that race like? I mean, it was obviously your milestone in your career. Uh, it was a very close race in the stretch. What was it like? Yeah, I mean, it was the most important race of my career. And, you know, I, I missed the kick by about four or five lengths. And I was <coughs> sitting at last uh, into the straight. I had my danger, who was the Triple Crown winner. She was called Jacqueline, written by Richard Hughes. And I got on to win on the last stride. Of the what do you think about Arlington Park so far? The race course is tremendous. I mean, it's one of the best race courses I've ever seen. It's beautiful. And uh, uh, very soon I'll be in action over here. How about your agent, Doug Bradar? Uh, he's got a great racing background. He's a very good handicapper. He used to be a racing secretary. Is he getting you in the game pretty fast here? Yeah, I mean, he's working hard. He's uh, looking out for rides. We are working hard in the mornings. So we're riding a lot of other horses. And uh, hopefully we should be on some good horses very soon. Now, what about the synthetic surface? Have you ever ridden on it before? No, we, we have only turf racing at, uh, Indi Indi at India. And uh, this is the first time I'm on poly track, and it's a different experience. And our turf course is one of the best in the country here. Are you excited to get on our turf course as well? Yes, definitely. I am looking forward to it. Seth Martinez with Cozine's Destiny, a last out winner. Loads at one to two. Favorite? Cozine's Destiny and Creole's Affair moving in. Now Texas Edge and Jax again. The last two. Here's Red Reef. Given a 12 to 1 chance. One more. Soda Chiredu with Invisible Star at a mile and a 16th on the all weather. And the gate in Chicago. Away and running at Arlington. Throw the inside. Creole's Affair out for the lead along with Red Reef. The first favorite, Cozine's Destiny, is right there along with Invisible Star as they turn. At the inside, in front, is Creole's Affair. Creole's Affair to be the leader from Red Reef and Invisible Stars up close. Cozine's Destiny, fourth upon settling, five lengths off the leader, then three more lengths back to Texas Hedge, who has a length and a half on condition red, and Jax again has dropped back to last. The opening quarter in 24 and four fifth seconds as they go to the back of the track. Creole's Affair leads Invisible Star by three quarters of a length, and Red Reef is right there too. Now five furlongs in the first line in the first of the day. Detached from the leading trio, Cozine's Destiny joined up the inside by Texas Hedge. The outside condition red, three wide for this backstretch run, and still a big break back there to Jax again. A half mile, covered in 49 and three-fifths seconds as they head toward the far turn. Creole's Affair and Invisible Star. Red Reef is third. Cozine's Destiny fourth. Outside that through the turn, condition red. Then Texas Edge and Jax again still in the backfield as they move through the turn. Creole's Affair on the outside, Invisible Star. And they have a couple of furlongs to go. Red Reef is still right there, a close third. Texas Edge fourth as they come toward the top of the stretch. And then Cozine's Destiny. Jax again is coming with a big close, but it's Invisible Star in front as they straighten away. Three quarters in one, 15 and two. Final furlong, Invisible Star led from Creole's Affair. On the outside is Jax again and Texas Edge. It is Invisible Star, Invisible Star, and so did Jaredu. Invisible Star first, second was close. Texas Edge and Jax again stand side. Creole's Affair, that longtime leader, finished fourth. In a running time of 1 minute 48 and 82 seconds.
in the United States. How does it feel? I mean, it's it's one of the best feelings, you know. It's just my third ride. We have been working very hard in the morning. We just needed an opportunity. This is a big moment for me, my family, the entire India, and of course the Jockey Club in India. You know, it's a very big moment for us. How was the ride on Invisible Star there? Yeah, I mean, he, he broke out well. He was in a handy position all the way. Uh, the four furlongs, I knew he added uh, a little more in him. You know, I quickened up in the straight, and he went really well for me. We're so glad we had you on our, our family horse here. Sarish so Naredu with his first win in the United States. Thank you. Just